Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today teach us about the grace in waiting. Let us allow our Lord Jesus Christ to teach us that the grace in waiting is preparing ourselves. As we begin this Holy Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who caused the minds of the faithful to unite in a single purpose, grant your people to love what you command and to desire what you promise, that amid the uncertainties of this world, our hearts may be fixed on that place where true gladness is found. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God 
forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Paul, called to be an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Sostenes, our brother, to the church of God that is in Corinth, to you who have been sanctified in Christ Jesus, called to be holy, with all those everywhere who call upon the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, their Lord and ours. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I give thanks to my God always on your account for the grace of God bestowed on you in Christ Jesus, that in him you were enriched in every way with all discourse and all knowledge, as the testimony to Christ was confirmed among you, so that you are not lacking in any spiritual gift as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. He will keep you firm to the end, irreproachable on the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful, and by Him you are called to fellowship with His Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I will praise your name forever, Lord. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. I will praise your name forever, Lord. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and declare your greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. I will praise your name forever, Lord. Please stand. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Stay awake, for you do not know when the Son of Man will come. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Stay awake, for you do not know on which day your Lord will come. Be sure of this, if the master of the house had known the hour of night when the thief was coming, he would have stayed awake and not let his house be broken into. So too, you also must be prepared. For at an hour you do not expect, the Son of Man will come. Who then is the faithful and prudent servant 
whom the master has put in charge of his household to distribute to them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master on his arrival finds doing so. Amen, I say to you, he will put him in charge of all his property. But if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is long delayed and begins to beat his fellow servants and eat and drink with drunkards, the servant's master will come on an unexpected day and at an unknown hour and will punish him severely and assign him a place with the hypocrites where there will be wailing and grinding of teeth. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. <clears throat> My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today speak of waiting. Do you like to wait? Gusto ba natin ang naghihintay o pinaghihintay tayo? Nako, tayo ayaw natin ng pinaghihintay. Kapag maghihintay ka, sasabihin agad natin, ang tagal niya, no? nakakainip naman. Doon tayo sa mas mabilis. No? We do not like to wait. But our readings today surprisingly teaches us that God wants us to wait. And that there is grace in waiting. We see in our gospel passage today, the lazy servant who does not want to wait. Instead, he just spent his time eating and drinking, beating others. He does not want to wait. But Jesus tells us today that there is grace in waiting. And what is that grace? The grace of preparing ourselves. That is a grace. And if God makes you wait, when God makes you wait, it means He is trying to prepare you for something. Kaya wag tayong matakot maghintay. Kasi para sa Diyos, ang paghihintay ay paghahanda sa iyo. At matutuwa ka pa minsan, masasabi mo sa huli, buti na lang naghintay ako. Buti na lang nagtsaga akong maghintay. Kasi may hinahanda pala ang Diyos para sa akin. My dear brothers and sisters, we need to cooperate with the grace of God whenever He wants us to wait. We need to cooperate with God and prepare ourselves. That is the grace of waiting. This is also what is uh, our first reading is telling us from the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. St. Paul said at the beginning of his letter that God has bestowed on you spiritual gifts as you wait for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ. You are not lacking in spiritual gifts so that as you wait, he said, he will keep you firm until the end. He will keep you faithful as you wait. The grace of waiting is preparing. So let us not be afraid to wait. 
even if it will take a long time, kahit na iinip na tayo, kahit na iinis na tayo kakahintay, Panginoon, kailan mo ba ibibigay ito sa akin? Hanggang kailan ba ako maghihintay? Tandaan natin mga kapatid, ang paghihintay ay paghahanda. And when God makes us wait, He wants to prepare us for something. My dear brothers and sisters, as we continue this celebration of the Eucharist, let us be reminded of the grace of waiting. And let us cooperate with that grace so that in waiting, we might also prepare our hearts for the coming of God's grace and love. Amen. Please stand. In the gospel, the Lord Jesus has called us to watch for the day of His return. Let us come to the Father in prayer, watching and waiting for His beloved Son. For every petition, let us say, Father of Jesus, we await your love. Father of Jesus, we await your love. The Church may not be satisfied with what she has done, but continue to proclaim the gospel of repentance and realize the need for conversion and renewal. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await, await your, your love. That our communities may be fitting places for the building of God's kingdom by our respect, love, and concern for one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await, await your, your love. That we may always be ready for the coming of God's kingdom by remaining watchful but never fearful. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await, await your, your love. love that the sick and the dying may seek God's will in their trials and sufferings, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await, await your, your love. That the faithful departed may be found ready to meet the Lord, whom they long to see face to face, let us pray to the Lord. Father, Father of, of Jesus, Jesus we, we await, await your, your love. love. Heavenly Father, listen to the prayers we have made with sincere hearts. Help us to grow in holiness as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of your kingdom. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. O Lord, who gained for yourself a people by adoption through the one sacrifice offered once for all, graciously bestow graciously on us, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace in your church. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy 
to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me 
to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Complete within us, O Lord, we pray, the healing work of your mercy, and graciously perfect and sustain us, so that in all things we may please you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Amen.